channel today I want to talk with you about 10 ways to know when it's time to let something go out of your closet so if you want to hear more then keep on watching reason number one the item looks similar to something you already have in your wardrobe so in today's day and age it has become much more affordable for us to be able to purchase multiples of an item and you know a variety of colors or prints or whatnot due to the rise of fast fashion and so people tend to buy multiples of things because it's very flattering on them and they really love it but at some point you kind of should you know take a step back and say you know do I really need 10 of the same thing I mean there's some things like basics like t-shirts you know if you have one in gray black and white that's understandable but if you have like the same crop top in 10 colors you probably should consider okay well when I first saw this item this one is the one that really stood out to me that really caught my attention that I really loved and fell in love with so this is the one I really want to keep the rest of them that are copycats of this one I can let go so try to figure out the original piece that you really fell in love with and then let go of the copycats and reason number two this is an item that you never wear. So, you know, sometimes we go shopping and we don't really have a plan and we just buy something just to buy it. Or, you know, you may be on vacation and you're in a pinch and you really need to get something that you need and then after that time you don't really wear it ever again. So if you have something in your wardrobe that you haven't worn for months or even years, then you should probably let that go. Reason number three, this item is something may have once loved, it was love at first sight, but now you hate it or you're indifferent to it. So sometimes, like I said, we buy something, it's love at first sight. We fall in love with it, we wear it so much, and it's our favorite piece. And then later on down the line, we look at it and we're just like, eh. Or we start to actually ask ourselves, why did I buy this in the first place? So if you have an item in your wardrobe that you don't wear because you no longer love it the way you used to, then, you know, pass it on, pay it forward, and let somebody else use it or be able to wear it and love it the way you once did. Reason number four. The item is ill-fitting or not flattering on you. We all have that one pair of gold weight jeans that once we hit this gold weight, we're going to be slaying in these jeans or whatever else. But, you know, sometimes your body structure literally changes in a way that it is irreversible. And if that's the case and you have an item that no longer flatters or fits your body as it is now, you probably should let that go. I'm all for, you know, a physical motivation piece that helps you to keep on track to a healthy lifestyle but like I said if it, your body has literally changed its structure to the point where it's not going to go back to the way it once was then you should let an ill-fitting or not flattering piece go. Number five the item is damaged beyond repair or it is more economical to replace the item than to repair it. Now sometimes you'll buy some items that are staple pieces that you probably spend a little bit more money on because it's something that an item that you're going to wear pretty much forever. It's never going to go out of style. You know this and you really want to spend the money so they would last you a long time. But there's other things like basics such as t-shirts or tank tops that you, it's not going to be worth it to go get it repaired or go see a tailor to get it fixed because it's something that it would be cheaper to just replace it rather than to hold on to it. With that type of thing you might just want to recycle that item and get rid of it if it's stained, if it has holes or extreme peeling. Just let that item go. Number six, the item is out of style and it is not making a comeback anytime soon. This is kind of tricky because a lot of the things that I even thought were never going to come back in style have come back. And they say pretty much every, you know, 20 years from now, the thing that's really hot now is going to recycle itself 20 years later. So you never know. Sometimes things will come back in style that, you know, once were popular and kind of went out and they fade back in. But some things, you have to look at it and ask yourself, okay, this is not in style now. 
and by the time 20 years later possibly that it will come back in style I don't think I'll be at the appropriate age to want to wear this anymore you know think about down the line are you really gonna be wearing this 20 years later is it gonna last 20 years so ask yourself that question and probably not you should probably let that thing go as well number seven this is kind of a piggyback off of the previous reason it's not really your style anymore it's not expressing what you want to express when you put it on in life you grow and change hopefully and your wardrobe kind of grows and changes with you so you know if you have something that you bought a while back and at that time it was something that really expressed who you are but now it's not really doing that then you probably should let that go number eight the item is uncomfortable so we all know that beauty can sometimes be pain and there's a certain level of discomfort that especially women will put up with because you know they want to look good such as you know shapewear and super high heels and things like that but in speaking of high heels if you have you know multiple pairs of six inch heels that you know you can't walk in and you never wear them and you dread putting them on every time you do because you know you're gonna be in pain five minutes later and you're gonna be wobbling and hobbling down the street I mean that's not a good look if it's painful to the point where it's like seriously apparent that you're in pain when you put it on or you're wearing it then you should let that thing go try to replace it with an option that may be similar but is something that's gonna make you feel and look good at the same time now number nine you may have been hearing me speak about all these reasons why you need to let an item go out of your wardrobe and you may say okay now this item may fit more than one or one or more of these criteria but you know I spent way too much money on this to just let this go and I just want to encourage you to go ahead and let it go now I'm not saying that you have to give everything to charity or recycle everything you can sell your item on multiple platforms that you know we now have and get some money back for that item because if you think about it it's either gonna sit in your wardrobe and you're never gonna wear it or you can sell it and get the money out get some money out of it and you know make yourself some extra cash so you know all is not lost if you sell something that you know maybe you invested in and it didn't work out for you you shouldn't just hold on to something just because you spent a lot of money on it and the last reason reason number 10 the item is a one-hit wonder you may have worn it once way back when back in the day but you haven't worn it again since and you can't really think of any occasion where you would be able to wear it again now some of these things I would say are off limits like a wedding dress that that really marks a pivotal moment in your life and I don't think that's something you should just freely give away now some people disagree with this I've heard people say you know take a picture of you know a clothing item that you have a fond memory of and keep that instead of holding on to the physical thing but I'll leave that up to you to decide so that's all for my 10 ways to know when it's time to let an item go out of your closet all right everyone thank you so much for watching please rate comment and subscribe and check me out on social media let's be friends i'll see you guys in my next one bye